What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. In the last part, we um, made it all the way up to the fourth temple and dungeon and got a level up and uh, got the uh, lost, got the reflect spell. Now, this is what the reflect spell is going to be used for and we're going to need a lot of magic in this temple. So, you see these wizard things? Um, well, we took one damage, but um, you see these wizards? Um, I think they're wiz robes, but um, either way, you see these wiz robes? Well, this is what we need the reflect spell for. If we kill each of these whiz robes, we get 100 XP. So I'd recommend maybe going after them. They use, they take up a lot of, it, the reflect spell takes up a lot of magic, but like, if you can like, get if you can get rid of these in one, if you can get rid of these enemies, you'll deal with a lot of, he, you'll, you'll be saved a lot of headaches later on. We're already all, we're already like a fourth of we're already all we're already like a fifth of the way up to a level up. It'd be great if we can get six attack power for the boss. Cause this is what I meant earlier in the playthrough by uh, maximizing your stats as early in the game as possible. Oh, it's pee bag. It's nice. We we we've, we've been lucky with the pee bags in this recording, but um. Anyways, we're gonna go. We're gonna use the jump spell and go over here. I could um die. There we go. And uh, he, we're basically um a third of the way to a level up now. Be all, be a little careful in this room also because um yeah, he fell down the pit, but he's. I think he responds also. So be a little careful in this room. Get knocked in. Don't get knocked in the lava. Fuck. That's our first life down, so um Alright, so we got the key, so that's all that matters. That's all that matters, we got the key. Now just go down here. Now um we with the down thrust, I have to take this guy out first, but um With the down thrust, um, these skulls are going to be much, much easier to kill. Yeah, they're very easy to kill now with our current stat power. Or stat power, current stats. We're a little, we're almost half a level. I'm going to put up a shield because, you know, this is a blue iron knuckle. We got the boots, which, um, we got the the boots, which allow us to walk on water. So basically, Link can't swim in this game, but he can walk on water. But until, like, you know, let's just insert the AV jam quote. Who does he think he is? Jesus Christ. I'm trying to avoid AV jam quotes because I know he did review this game years ago. We're taking this guy out. All right, good. Um, I have a feeling this next set of um, well, the game glitched right there. I have a, I have this feeling this next set of uh, this next set is going to contain iron knuckle or contain nothing. I don't think I want to use the jump spell, so um, it'd be helpful, but um, I don't think I need it. All right, we're out of that area, so um. We might have to use up all our lives going in this, going in the rest of this though. Be careful about the horse heads also. Oh, um, I want to say there's also something on the left. We don't have enough magic to use the reflect spell though, so we better hope for a magic upgrade. Fuck. I can make it to the next room. Yeah, we might have to. Um. Oh, we have enough for a life. Never mind. We're out of magic though, so um, we have to hope for a, a red jar. 
Now these rooms are gonna be easier than they were in the last dungeon because we can use the up thrust. Oh yeah. Probably gonna have to go use up all our lives on this uh, palace though. We're out of this room. I would really hope for a magic upgrade though. That's all we can do in this. We're essentially halfway done with this palace. So, um. Actually, I think next level up's a life upgrade. So I could use that. I'm not gonna go more risky with the, I'm not gonna go more high risk, high reward with the level ups because I wanted to maximize my stats in the early portion of this game. Shit. Yeah, at least we have a full magic bar now. This is our last life. So, um, what we're going to do now is hopefully, I think, um, I think we don't go down there yet. I would like to get an attack upgrade, but I don't think there is, I don't think the next level ups attack. So, um, all right, pee bag, we need that. These areas are now so much easier when we have the up thrust. Oh yeah. What we're gonna do now, what we're gonna do now is, uh, I think there's a, uh, I think we're, we are approaching the boss, but I wanna conserve as much magic because if we can't afford to, if we can't afford to use the reflect spell on the boss, we're doing the whole temple over. It'll probably be like last dungeon where I just cut out the remainder of the sum. For some reason I think we need um, uh, um double check. Because I think there is a key. Get horse heads. Those that have seen the prior parts know I do not like me some horse heads. Picture like, they are very much like the Medusa in the, the Medusa's in Castlevania and just annoying. I really could not have used a, that, uh, that life, that magic upgrade, that magic healer more. Okay, so, um, I'll have enough to use the reflex spell more than once. So, um, let's just take out these, uh, let's take, let's take out these whiz ropes so they're not as much of a nuisance. Stop losing XP. We are 500 XP away from a level up. So wow, I actually got a magic upgrade. So I I, have, I could not have gotten luckier this recording session. I almost didn't even realize I got a magic upgrade. Right, so this is the last one before the boss. So um, I'll also tell you a trick to make this fighting this boss a, a heck of a lot easier. Use the jump spell. We're gonna get two left. We're gonna get two upgrades if we actually never mind. Red iron knuckle. All right, we should be. We're gonna get two level upgrades either way. Another once we kill. All right, I could not have. I, let's just because. If we beat the boss, we get our attack all the way up to level uh, six, and even if we fail, we'll still, um...
All right, so you, my, my tip is use the reflect spell and duck in this corner right here. Just stay ducking. Duck. It also may be, also might be beneficial also go here at the full bar and we beat the dungeon. That is a very easy way to do this fight. Now, if we had never gotten the reflect spell, you would have been stuck on the screen and had to bring out your lives. So be very careful also. All right, so um, now eventually we can walk on this water right here. So um, believe it or not, the window from uh, getting on this um, game to the next dungeon is actually really much really low, but um, I just want to get a health upgrade really quick. Oh, we have a one-up doll. That's uh. Anyway, so um, the believe it or not, the window from game from D Palace Four to Palace Five is really low. If we take, um, let's say it's that's yeah, this one right here. Actually, no, it's not. Actually, it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. It's this path. If we take this path right here. If we take this path right here, we get another health upgrade. So um, that'll be the second last of the health upgrades. We almost have our stats, like we almost have our life maxed out. So um, now if we just, um, thankfully there are no enemies on the water. So um, if we go here, we're, we are already, believe it or not, at uh, Palace 5. So I'll cut off this part of Zilla 2 The Adventure Link. So next time on Zilla 2 The Adventure Link, we're gonna tackle Palace 5. See you guys then.